A change in leadership is coming for Hampton University. For the first time in decades, Dr. William Harvey plans to retire this year. When he took over in 1978 as the school's 12th president, back then it was known as Hampton Institute and Jimmy Carter was in the White House. As our Barbara Sierra reports, today we highlight his legacy as we celebrate Black History Month. 44 years at the helm of Hampton University, Dr. William Harvey, one of the longest serving presidents of higher learning in the country, is stepping away from his leadership role. I truly believe that the Lord has ordered my steps. We met in his office, surrounded by his books, art, and images spanning the decades, as he recalled his first impressions when he first set foot on campus. And uh, I was just struck by the the beauty of the campus being surrounded by water on three sides. There aren't very many places that can make that claim. Now he can claim that he and his team built wealth for the university, transforming a $29 million endowment to one now worth a number north of $400 million. He didn't get there without dealing with detractors. Dr. Harvey has a reputation for being a tough and determined leader. A leader is going to have to expect pushback. But I don't really dwell on that. Uh, I've had personal attacks. I've had attacks on the university. But look where we are. The CEO and owner of a Michigan-based Pepsi bottling company, Dr. Harvey combined his business enterprise with academia, practicing a leadership style that he describes as collective competence, which he says is better than individual competence. I am the team leader, and uh, I'm a tough team leader, and I don't apologize for that. I don't apologize for that at all. He also does not apologize for his bipartisan politics. He has met with every sitting U.S. president over the course of four-plus decades, a decision that at times attracted criticism from students on his own campus. I don't know of a president, quite frankly, that, um, that I have not enjoyed one Democrat and one Republican. As for his legacy, he says he'll leave that to others to decide, but he proudly points to a few significant milestones. Not only do we have the world's largest proton beam cancer treatment center, we've got four satellites that are flying right now. An avid reader, Dr. Harvey turns the page on this chapter of his life with a purpose. He plans to write several books, one is already in progress. I think that I might have two or three uh, novels in me. So while I still have that energy and that mental acuity, I wanted to be able to write because I think that I have something to say. It doesn't mean that I'm going to say things that everybody likes. Now that's a cliffhanger. But we don't have to guess how he feels about the last 44 years, building Hampton University from day one to today. It's just been a wonderful journey. Now Barbara tells us one of Dr. Harvey's favorite expressions is do the right thing even if no one is looking. During Harvey's tenure, the university launched 92 academic degrees, including 12 doctoral programs, and added 29 buildings to the campus. Hampton also launched weather satellites into orbit, making it the first HBCU to be solely responsible for a major NASA mission. You know, in Barbara's story, she mentioned how, how bipartisan uh, the Dr. Harvey is with lawmakers. I was chatting with him just a couple of weeks ago, and he had to cut our conversation short because he was rushing over to have lunch with former governors Bob McDonald and Douglas Wilder, a Democrat and a Republican, and the three of them were meeting up for lunch. It speaks to his legacy. It does.